An enterprising Sunday school teacher on Easter Sunday morning came and said to her class, class, I'm going to give you an Easter egg. And she gave them one of those pantyhose containers in the shape of an egg, a leg, L apostrophe E-G-G. She said, now I want you to go outside and you find something that is reminiscent or that makes you think of the resurrection of Christ. And so the kids, they run, ran outside and walked around and picked up this and that and things and brought them back. One kid had a little butterfly wing and one had a rusty nail, one had a piece of a napkin that was white. And so the teacher said, um, explain it to me. And they said, well, the nails was what crucified Jesus to the cross and the butterfly means that there is change and the white tissue makes me think of the thing that Jesus was wrapped in. He was wrapped in a white cloth. And then she came to Timothy and, Timothy, what do you have? And he simply held up her his leg and, uh, and said, just opened it up and it was empty. And the kids laughed and said, oh, you didn't find anything at all, did you? And Timothy said, no. Said, said I didn't have to find anything. Said, look at this. Said, the egg is empty because the tomb was empty. Timothy got it right. The tomb was empty. Everything else just went to dressing. But when it comes to Easter Sunday morning, the first day of the week, going to the tomb, it was empty. Christ had arisen. He's risen today. And he is alive today. And we are his children. Bring the empty egg and come along. It's a good symbol. Thanks for watching today's message, Don Howell.